levels. So I would say, for for the MMA game, I think Paul is, is the future of, of 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 the game. He's still young. He's still a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. He's he, he's young in age, and he's still and, and, and yet he has so many fights already. So much experience. So I think Cole is the future. You know. Paul Miller, 24 years old, I'm a professional mixed martial artist. A guy that I went to school with who graduated a couple of years ahead of me came into my shop and he, he had two black eyes and I, you know, I asked him, you know, what happened to you? And um, you know, who kicked your ass? And he, he said, uh, oh, I train mixed martial arts. You know, I was like, there's somewhere to do that in Macon, Georgia. I came to the gym and got tapped out all over the place by everybody and I was like, you know, this is for me, this is what I want to do. I originally met Cole when I lived in Georgia. I was uh, I was there for about six months uh, training out there, and uh, he had just started training when I met him. I think he was 17 at the time, and he just he wanted to do it. I knew when I met him that he wanted to do it, and I I wasn't a believer. You know, he was like six foot two and 130 pounds, and it's like wasn't an intimidating looking guy. Hair flying all over the place, and he was the last guy you'd be worried about in a dark alley. And uh, he just, he trained hard and he built his body up and he got all the skills he needed and you know, right now he's, he's on top of the world, you know. Really where I was at, I was kind of like the big fish in the small pond and I, I really, you know, I, I didn't like that. I wanted to be the best in the world one day. So I knew if I wanted to be the best, you know, I had to train with the best. So, uh, you know, packed up and moved everything to South Florida, trained with American Top Team. I cannot ask for a better student. He's always humble. He's always willing to learn. He's very good in learning new techniques. He picks up things really fast. He's, uh, I would say that he was one of my most talented students right now. I'm a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, I've been training Jiu Jitsu for about four and a half, five years now. Okay, guys, that's my pleasure also. But doesn't know, one does the best 145 in the United States. That's the future American Top Team also. Comilla's going to Purple Belt tonight, guys. You deserve it, boy. Magrinho, uh, it's Portuguese, and um, it means skinny. And uh, basically, I came to American Top Team, and uh, you know, there's a lot of guys on the mat at one time, and uh, Master Laborio, you know, he didn't really know me that well yet, so he just called me Magrinho because I was skinny and the name stuck. All I do is train. When I'm not training, I'm all, all I'm doing is thinking about the next fight or thinking about playing moves in my head. Um, you know, in my spare time, I'm doing things that help me to fight. Yeah, I, I definitely feel a sense of urgency after my last loss because, I mean, you know, the way the sport is now with UFC is like, you know, People are constantly getting cut, you know, you, you put on a poor performance, they cut you, you know, you have to go, it's like you're back at square one, and nobody likes to move backwards, you know, everybody's always, you always want to move forward. Um, you know, it's a very, very hard job, and, you know, a, a lot of professional fighters, you know, they, they put everything on hold for this, and, you know, their families are going to, are going to suffer for it, or, you know, they're going to reap the rewards from it, and, you know, I live with my brother, and my brother you know, has the same job as me, so that keeps me straight. You know, if, if I didn't have him, things would probably be a lot harder. Um, my relationship with Cole is he's my, he's my brother and he's my best friend. Um, you know, we do everything together. We live together, train together, eat together, don't sleep together, but uh, that's about all we don't do together. Micah, my brother, is uh, he's the most important part of my life because um, he, he is me. You know, um, I put the most effort of me into him. As, as a brother, he's uh, you know, he is he is the older brother in this relationship, and he, and he offers me a lot of guidance. I've, I've I've went to a couple of classes that he teaches. You know, he te he he wants his students to, to understand what he's what he's doing. Wants them to learn learn the, wants them to learn the technique. It started out as just my friend asking, and then um. You know, I, I thoroughly enjoy teaching now. 
sometimes I'll come in here and I'll train these guys and I see how hungry they are and how determined they are and then it'll make me pull up my old fights and you know I, I can see a little bit a little more you know hunger in me back then you know and it helps me you know get that same hunger back like that's the kind of guy he is he's like whatever is gonna make me better I want to do it you know that's the kind of athlete he is that's the kind of fighter he is this is my income so when when I prepare for a fight, that's what's going to get me through another six months or four months or eight months. So, I mean, winning is crucial. And um, I have to go into training thinking like that. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to leave it all on the mat or in the ring every single time I train. Because if, if I don't, then, you know, I'm thinking my opponent's going to. And, you know, if I lose, that means I'm just going to have to struggle that much more. First time I felt like I belonged in the UFC um, was when I fought... Andy Wang on June 23rd, um, 2007. What a huge kick! I would really, really like to start getting on main cards, or really get my fights being shown on TV, and then after that I'd like to be, you know, on the main cards, and then make a main event, and then, you know, hopefully win a title. So I got everything, you know, planned out from short term to long term from here on out. He's got the, the heart and the drive to be the best in the world, and I think that, uh, you know, he physically has the ability, so it's just a matter of time before he achieves his goals. Um, whether it's standing on the ground or in the clinch, I'm going to be constantly working. There's going to be no rest. It's going to be nonstop action, and I would like the rest of my career to be like that, you know. N n it's not stop and go. It's not, you know, it's time to think. I just want to go, 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 go. So that way, when everyone else is starting to get tired, I'm just getting started. I think that, you know, fighting is me. Uh, it's not like most professional athletes where you know, people try to say or actors try to say, you know, you know, this, you know, doesn't define who I am. Um, I mean, fighting does define who I am. It's all I think about, and it's all I am.